That's in the 3-2 zone. You look, you got 6-5 at the top. Back rows, an average of six feet. North Carolina is still finding a way to score. Mavunga gets right in there by the ACC again and knocks down a couple. After good years with the Colts and the Cowboys, the steal. And the pull up by Coleman knocks it down. They are now eight for 10 in the game. Coleman, deep three. It would be their first of the afternoon, and she's got it. But for Mavunga, eight now for Stephanie. It's the 6'4", Amber Henson, who can hunt the ball up the floor for Duke. Greenwell gets stripped. Bucks again on the run, scores. Biggest lead in the first half for the Heels. She is five for 11. The rest of the team is five for 21 so far. On the run, in transition for three. Coleman is lighting it up. She's got a dozen. That is how things will stand as we go to the locker rooms. They were down by as many as eight, but using the advantage at the line. Out there with Roundtree, Gray, Butts, and Mavunga in the white jerseys. Williams is now at the top of that 3-2 zone. They attack it, they get it to the baseline, and they score it. Duke within two. They've been down by as many as 10 as Gray drills one from the corner. Lavunga, they go inside out to Gray, and they find the three-point shooter. She's got 16. Take her off the bounce. Roundtree for three. Won't go. Kept alive inside. Bryant with the step back. Eight seconds to go. Coleman will go to the rim. Coleman rejected by Williams. Held ball, and it's going to overtime. Duke stayed with the size, and that has paid to their advantage. Bryant for two. She's got it. Quick timeout, North Carolina. They'll have one left. Williams. Stephanie comes out with it, and her pass to Gray on the outlet. Gray takes it all the way for the win. And that'll do it. Duke wins the overtime 12 to 5 and they win the first matchup of the year with the Tar Heels.